From the amount of time it took Shohei Otani to sign, to the amount of time it's taking Yoshinobu Yamamoto to sign, all the way to MLB reporters being the most unreliable people on the face of the planet, the 2023-2024 MLB offseason has been one of the worst things you could have asked for coming off of a great season for major league baseball getting ratings back up the pitch clock letting retention stay it was a great year for the regular season but this off season has been a drag there's only one way to fix that what's going on guys it's the king of 161st street i'm back with another video and the amount of time it took shohei otani to sign the fact that he took so long people had to track flights they thought he was on in order to report about it, in order to stir up drama, in order to get any sort of traction. That's how bad it's been. Yoshinobu Yamamoto's not going to sign until January at this point. There's a way to fix this. It's easy. All you got to do is condense the MLB offseason. I know what you're saying. Like if we did an offseason where you only allowed the month of November and that's it. Then you have December and January, then late February players report. That's almost 90 days of no action. There's already a problem we have in terms of the draft. All you got to do is move the draft from the all-star break where it gets overshadowed by everything else and move it to December. So then you get to talk about free agents. You get to talk about the draft one month of off time. Even the NBA has a month of off time. And that's when like the summer league happens. No one really cares about that. Then players report, then you get spring training, then you get baseball. That's such a simple solution here. And I'm just a 21 year old kid without a college degree. These are guys who are supposed to be professionals at marketing, yet they can't get their heads out of their ass because they're so old, they can't fathom an era where people's attention spans go in the blink of an eye no no one not everyone's going to be talking about Juan Soto to the Yankees three weeks later yes am I still excited about it sure but there's not enough content to make around that there was three moves that happened there and now all the steam is back out of it all these reports about oh the Yankees are number one when it comes to Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Oh, the Mets are still players. These are the top five landing spots for them. These are all filler things. This is not what's going to carry a new cycle. You need these guys to sign. Yoshinobu Yamamoto should not be taking all the way to January to sign a deal. It's getting ridiculous because you're getting these two week gaps no content i know i keep talking about content and people are going to be out there like oh who cares about the content you know who does the mlb viewers the casual fans you know how they get interested off season off season drama that's why i was saying to you should have had shohei otani no matter how private he wanted to keep that information about him going to the dodgers you should have had him do a LeBron James decision type of thing when he announced his team. That would have drummed up so much attention going into the season. You would have had so many other fans coming in. You would be able to build off of the great 2023 season. MLB viewership was way back up if you discount the World Series. It was a great year. And then if you came in with the hype of Shohei Otani, with the hype of Yoshinobu Yamamoto, Juan Soto going to the biggest market in the world, it would have been magical, yet you didn't do that. The solution to that is condense the offseason, make guys like Cody Bellinger sign in November, make guys like Shohei Otani sign almost right away. Yoshinobu Yamamoto, you got to sign. Maybe for the Japanese guys, you would give a little bit of an extension, but the extension wouldn't go too much farther than December 15th. That's about it. Then you end the offseason. Then you have a shit ton of stuff to talk about because you can't get to everything all it all at once that's what you want and that's what the nba does that's what the nfl does these are all leagues that have lapped us and they have embraced the new generation new cycles of content creation and the only league that really hasn't is major league baseball they have progressed but it's not enough you need a league that knows what it's doing in terms of its social media following 
and also its new cycle. And no, you have to capitalize when you have such a good year like you did in 2023. Now let's get to some of the other issues. Just because there's not a new cycle about major league player movement, there's been a lot of talk about how MLB reporters are some of the biggest lying sack of shits of all time. John Morosi tracking a flight that fans told him he was on posting it online and then having Bob Nightingale of all people fact check him. When Bob Nightingale is fact checking you, you done fucked up. Guys like John Heyman last year reporting early about Judge going to the Giants. You had Morosi this year. You've had Bob Nightingale being one of the least reliable people on planet Earth. The only person you should be listening to in baseball circles, Jeff Passan. And then if there are some local guys in your area, like for the Yankees, Jack Curry is also a super reliable source, but he's only really Yankee content. Either go to local sources or go to Jeff Passan. That's it, because Jeff Passan is the only guy who is not trying to be first because he knows he's the only trusted source. He's the only guy you should be looking at. You look at what Ben Verlander did today. We all know that Shohei Otani is his favorite player. He says a lot of stuff about him. A lot of stuff over boisterous about him. Overjoyed about his appearance in LA. He's like his best friend that barely knows him. It's, it's kind of weird, their relationship. But what he said today was absolutely crazy. He makes a statement that Shohei Otani is, quote, the most important signing in LA Dodgers history. Can we just take a second to realize Jackie Robinson signed with the Dodgers and Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier with the Dodgers. I can understand an argument that says that it was probably an oversight on his part. He was probably only talking about Los Angeles. And even if he wasn't, again, it was probably just an oversight. You can do that if you have a platform like mine where I have like 500 subscribers and most of my videos get less than 100 views. You can make blunders like that and it not have much consequence. When you have the platform of Ben Verlander, when you're signed to Fox and your podcasts are getting north of 250,000 clicks, you have words that have consequences. You cannot be oversighting Jackie Robinson when you're saying Shohei Otani is the most important signing in Dodgers history. Cause I refuse to believe that it's the other side of the coin. He knew about Jackie Robinson and still had the audacity to say that. Because at that point, you just look at him and say, what are your true intentions with those comments, Ben? But again, I don't believe that that's his true intentions. I think it was more of an oversight. It shows that these guys who have huge platforms in the sport of baseball need to take more care of it. The guys like Morosi tracking flights from fans, Ben Verlander oversighting the fact that Jackie Robinson signed with the Dodgers. It's making MLB media look like a joke. When Jeff Passan is the only guy that you can trust, at least two guys in the NBA circles that you can trust with Shams and Adrian Wojnarowski. There's not two people you can trust in terms of national MLB media. There's one guy and there's also only one guy that won't spew fucking bullshit like Ben Verlander. It's MLB media has become ridiculous. It's almost looking like they're taking a point of view where they're either so desperate to try and figure out how to generate traffic that they're gonna rage bait, or they're just mindless pieces of shit. I'm believing it's more of the latter because I don't think they have the foresight to know what rage bait is. I digress there. That's it for my rant here. This 2023 MLB offseason, I can't wait for it to end. It's almost been an embarrassment to baseball. What do you think about this offseason? Let me know down below. If you're new here, hit that sub button. Like the video if you agree. Dislike it if you disagree. And I'm out of here. Take care and peace.